Reggie's Corner, Variety Gaming. The Pathetics Restaurant, 2nd floor, November 21st, 2334. Find and interrogate. Alright, welcome to part 11 of this blind let's play of Intravenous on true difficulty. And we are in the top level of the Empathetics house from the last level. And we will take it from here. And as always, I have a fairly aggressive playstyle. I will probably die a lot. And I'll edit out all the boring part and leave the good things and the story bits in it. And it's on true difficulty, which means I only have three saves per level. Oh, nice precious explosives we got after we were dead Pizza, shall we? Oh, ah. Oh. All right. Kind of weird that you can eat some of the pizzas, but not all of them. Maybe there's some topping on, on some of them that we just don't like. Empathetic. Well, well, well. The man himself, the underground, has been a buzz about you as of late, my friend. Yeah? Then I guess I don't need to explain why I'm here. Sure as hell don't. So tell me, who put the hit on me? I'm sorry, I don't share such information with anyone. Yeah? You want me to fucking shoot you? And then what? You pull that trigger and neither one of us comes out of this alive. Good is that for me, huh? You think I'm going to walk away empty-handed? Sorry, Bob. You got it wrong there. Couldn't care less about what you do. Either you cough some names up or I will take you to hell with me. Well then, it seems that's something we both have. It seems that's something we both have in common. The money that was put in your head was just too tempting. I'm not bound to see the contract go through. I get paid when someone takes the job. Now that I got my share, I couldn't care less. I don't take joy in handing out hits on people that were victims of circumstances. I don't get paid for this. Do you think I enjoy killing people that I have no quarrel with? Touche. Look, I get it. You're angry. I'm sure as hell it would be if I had a hit put on me. The way I see it, you're in the same situation like the guys that came for you. You will die if you pull the trigger, the only difference is that I'm giving you the chance to walk. I can't give you info on the guy who put a price on you, but I can do something that will lead you to it. You'll be contacted by an acquaintance of mine soon. I hear he's in some deep shit and in need of a particular skill set that you just so happen to have. How the hell is he going to contact me? Did you forget who you're talking to? Right. No, no. Do we have a deal? 
Yeah. Now, lay down your gun. Once you do that, you're free to go. I'll signal the others to let you through. Consider this a gift. Thank you for reminding me that I'm not invincible. I don't get to st stare down the barrel of a gun that often. Seems a little ironic, huh? Empathetics Restaurant. Second floor results. 6 minutes and 16 seconds. And we killed 10 dudes, and there were 10 dudes. So yeah, commando in rank. My meeting with Empathetic didn't go as planned. Thought we'd be one on one, with my gun as the middleman. But that wasn't it. If I'd pulled the trigger on him, both of us would have been dead. The guy who directed me to Empathetic told me he was a piece of shit. But in my chat with him, I'd say he's not that bad. For a thug. Still, I got out in one piece and was to be contacted by a guy who had info on the person that wanted me out of the picture. Running errands for these assholes. How ironic. All right, so now we are back in our new kind of crappy hideout. Yeah. And as far as I can tell, there's no beer anymore. None. Hello? Hey, uh, is this Steve? The mole. Yeah, where are you? I forget the fucking pleasantries, man. Our mutual friend, Empathetic, he got me in touch with you. Listen, he says you owe me a favor. I don't know how, but I ain't turning that down, cause I'm in some deep fucking shit right now. Why should I care? Because one hand washes the other, idiot. What the fuck have you got to do besides this anyway? Fend off more paid gunmen? Look, I'll cut the chase. Your rampage has got the hornet's nest buzzing real fucking hard. So hard that the boss are turning shit inside out trying to figure out who the hell was helping you all along. Goes without saying that taking out an entire gang single-handedly instilled some paranoia in the rest, eh? Just so happens that I'm undercover, deep inside gang territory. And if this shit persists, then I'm fucked. I know who you are. I've read your story and connecting the dots back to you wasn't difficult. I'm gonna take these recent fucking massacres into account. Wait, why would Empathetic be in touch with an undercover cop? His services go beyond whacking guys like you. To us, he's as much of an asset as he's a threat. An asset? He, uh, can be quite useful to us every once in a while. Right. So why should I help you? I fucking told you. I know who put the hit on you. Who? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. He didn't say the magic. Oh, sorry. Not so fast. You say my ass and I'll tell you. You do jack and you're at a dead end. All right. What do I do? All you need to do is whack my boss. That's it. Just fucking shoot his ass. I don't care how. Just make him dead. You do that and I'll let you in on who put $10 million on your head. Oh, and, and don't worry about me. I won't even be there. You guys did jack shit for me when my brother was killed. What the fuck do you want from me? An apology? If we had gone after those, these guys, then this entire operation would have been a bust. We were gathering info on who these fucking punks are in cahoots with. Shit takes time, can't jump the gun too early. Fine, I'll kill you boss. You better not bail on me. I'm not stupid. One hand washes the other. Drug Mob Casino, November 23rd, 2205. I'm here. Where shall I look for him in the casino? I bet my ass is going to be in his office, hiding like a little bitch. Guy's fucking paranoid. Expect him to be guarded by his best man. You 
fucker could best not screw up tonight. This asshole could be here for all we know. I'm staying in my office. I catch you jerking off. I'll make you regret the fucking round. These gangbangers tried calling me several times already, and my absence sort of puts me on the shit list. If you fuck this up or get caught, we'll both be dead. No pressure, though. Dick. I'm a bad man. I'm high strung as fuck right now. Good luck. Kill of the mob boss. See how far sneaking actually gets me. This might be a good place to have my first save. We have worked up a good pile of dead guys.
All right. Very nice. All right, second save used. Key card to the store, there's no lock to pick. Okay, so 
What's the point of this door? Seeing as it could get at it from both sides anyway? Card. A lot of money and like a couple of saves. Oh, that was just a soda again. Alright, Drive Mob Casino, one hour and there were 35 guys, oh and I killed 35 guys? Very nice, uh, Blood 52 deaths, yeah, this was a tough one, for sure, for sure, but we did get a special gun. Alright, I think this is a great place to end off this part, I hope you had as much fun as I did and that you might hit those like and subscribe buttons. Also, see you again in the very next part, but for now, it is indeed bye-bye.